Sarah say her hair feel heavy, bitch. It look it like you got a fucking six time titanium fucking magneto helmet on your shit. Make sure y'all stay stream my album. It's out now on all platforms. It didn't really like you know y'all didn't really get into it on my channel because I know it's something new, something that y'all you know not used to. But it's definitely doing good on like you know iTunes, Spotify. Like it's definitely getting streams because you know I have platforms other like Facebook and Instagram. Like I have you know other platforms than just YouTube. But you know YouTubers, YouTubers, bitch, insane gang, bitch. Go stream my fucking album. Album. Come on now, let's not play ho. Fuck's wrong with child. Uh -huh, bitch, try again. What it is, what it does, what it do. What's going on, insane gang? Since this is me back in the motherfucking video, bitch. As you come to see from the. Ooh. Flashlight on flashlight from the title. We are back at it again with a bad girls club review. I'm gonna go ahead and get this, this motherfucking review there because I know y'all hoes been waiting. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm moving right now. I am now in a whole different motherfucking location than I was at first. I'm pretty sure y'all have noticed. Bitch, we is upgrading life and lifestyles. The things that's happening. New hair. Who did? Got a couple beads. A couple fell out. You know? Then you got the bling a down. Blah, blah. Because you already know. Um, First, we start off with Seven and Sarah Steel. Y'all know how they like to drag shit on for like episodes and episodes. But we got Seven and Sarah. Like the little aftermath for them getting into it. Sarah crying and shit. Because you know her hair didn't get pulled out. Because you know every time she fights, she just don't know that girl. You came on the show with some cornrows. Like Brie did. A Tim, she came. She learned her lesson the first time. When she was on the motherfucking bed. And the fucking creature grabbed that bitch up. And... Molly wiped her shit 65 times to the motherfucking baseboard. She said, okay, this bitch Molly wiping me, this bitch pulling my fucking hair out. Let me go get some braids. So the next time it happens, we don't go through this again. But you didn't learn the first time, the first 60 times, actually. This is like the 40th time your hair first got pulled out on multiple different shows. And you still didn't know that, oh yeah, maybe I should give me some braids to the back. Why would you even put that helmet on? For one, that was disrespectful. For you to be like, oh, you, you so black cultured and you got black friends. Bitch, your black friends would never, it ain't motherfucking life that you put that shit on your fucking head. Come on TV like that, girl. You look like fucking Judy. Um, they do a recast about Sydney and Sydney talking on that scene when she had them leggings on. Sydney dick popped out. Y'all need to go back to the motherfucking season and watch the fucking scene with... Tanisha and Sydney, that bitch dick hole popped the fuck out. I don't want to put her on blast, but I review episodes, and y'all know I reviews, I reviews, bitch. I say every time, I reviews, bitch. If you're going to be on TV and be transgender, girl, bitch is already going to be like, what's going on? And girl, your whole penis popped out on fucking Zeus. Sorry, Sydney, but I have to clock. She was talking to Tanisha, that bitch was real uncomfortable moving and shit. Then she made it kind of awkward obvious because she kept moving around and like doing certain shit and like drawing attention to it and it's like girl if your dick pop out you should have been like whoop my dick popped out and put pop that bitch back in let's go sydney star you strange in the diva bitch act like it bitch you should have been like hold on bitch i gotta tuck that's why they that's why i don't need to be on tv because y'all already know i don't give a fuck about shit we're going to the episode now you know natalie going her morning samurai routines when she come and you know put a whole Pound the flower on her back and run up a mountain doing her little shit. And Sarah come in with this motherfucking girl, this motherfucking look helmet. I don't know where she got this Karen super size, super size me Karen fucking wig girl. I don't know where the fuck she got that shit from girl. That shit was lopsided. She didn't have it on right. It didn't have no baby hairs girl. That Natalie said she looked like Judy's sister. She did girl. She and her baby hairs was messed up. It was crooked. The bob wasn't even like, and it was dry. Like it was just, I hate a dry ass weave like girl bitch spray something on that shit it's water everywhere it's water in the fucking air bitch you could have walked through a mist or some shit some sprinklers bitch so thanks sarah i'm sorry y'all keep saying that i'm bashing sarah and i'm so mean on sarah i lurky like a lot of people like was unsubscribing and shit for my last review though because i guess i was a little too hard on sarah bitch i'm gonna be hard on any bitch and if i feel like a bitch is out here fucking slipping bitch i'm gonna say some shit in my old videos i said sarah was one of my favorite to bash a bitch is actually me correct the criticism of a bitch because right the fuck now sarah you're looking fucking crazy Okay, you're not looking like the Sarah that I know on BGC 11 that was beating them hoes up or Long Wolf didn't give a fuck about what bitch felt like you look like a fucking puppy dog and that wasn't the type of girl that I met. So if y'all want to be mad that I'm being fucking hard on my fucking fave, then be mad about it, bitch, because I don't want my face out here looking fucking crazy. That's not no, that's not Janelle, bitch. Janelle could have came on here looking fucking crazy because that's not one of my fucking favorite bitches. Okay.
fuck's wrong with it, bitch? Now, Sarah would bring up her fucking fracture finger because, you know, this bitch always got to have some type of fucking injury. Last time she had band-aids and shit, shit under her eyeballs. This bitch was clawing her shit out. She got a whole fucking cast on her finger. I had one before, but I got it in when I was at wrestling. If y'all, if my OGs know that I was a wrestler in high school, y'all used to slam bitches on their shit. It's clips. You can go find them on my Snapchat, really. I post them here and there, but bitch, I used to be a wrestling bitch, and I had that same exact little finger thing, bitch. And I know if they give you that shit, it's a fucking problem. So I don't feel like she, um, I mean, she could have ordered that shit off Amazon. Let me not jinx it, but I don't feel like she's faking her injuries. I feel like Sarah wouldn't just go out and, like, you know, fake, like, something wrong with her just to, like, get sympathy. I keep short nails so I can still, like, ball my fist up because... I never get acrylic nails. I never got acrylic nails in my life. I mean, it's not just, it's just not my style. Like, this, that's why I always keep my nails short. Cause bitch, just in case I gotta ball my shit up and run this hole through your shit, I need to make sure I can make a full fucking fist. Tips and all, bitch. Sarah say she needs to work out. Cause um, she be getting her ass to be. I think so too, bitch. Surgery don't give you muscles. You know, you need to be putting some muscles behind them plastics, bitch. Cause if a bitch get on top of you and can hold you down, bitch, you not strong. Bitch, I would have been kicking, flipping, punching, biting, head button, bitch. I would have been elbowing, spinning, to, bitch. If a bitch get on top of you, bitch, you need to get everything in your force to get out. And not keep swinging, girl. Come on, Sarah, mommy. Sarah, really, Sarah, mommy thought. Natalie say that the wig is very extra, and then Sarah said my her finger is purple and swollen and shit. I think the wig isn't a little extra. I just feel like Sarah thought she was doing something, and that's she, it. Didn't the execution wasn't what she thought it was. I feel like she actually tried to look cute with that wig, and that's something. I mean, she should have had Natalie or somebody like install her a fat ass wig or like could have gave her some braids to the back. She would have looked fat. With somebody got to do her shit right. So, cause if a bitch is out here beating her ass, bitch, and pulling your hair out, bitch, you gotta do something. I'm sorry. I know it's cultural appropriation, but she culturally getting that ass beat. Sarah say her hair feel heavy, bitch. It look it like you got a fucking six times titanium fucking magneto helmet on your shit. Um, Natalie say that she Judy's sister, which I agree with. Um, she's setting shit up to fight in a um, boxing ring, and she prank calls Tanisha and tells Tanisha that, oh, hurry up and come to the house when there's not, nothing fucking wrong. I don't know why the fuck everybody gotta keep calling Tanisha. She is a fucking cast member on the show. She should already be on her fucking way. Like, she was like, oh my god, I failed you guys, and why does she always in meetings about what, what, what meetings is she in? I'm sorry. I keep hearing about these meetings that's so important when... What the what what meaning teacher probably does a lot of other shit, but at the same time, it's like, girl, if you booked for something, bitch, you have to clear your schedule for what you're doing, bitch. We want to see you, like, you might be a little extra, but you still Tanisha, bitch. We want to fucking girl, come on now. Janelle come in seven room and seven time out. It wasn't her fault that she beat set um Sarah ass, and I don't feel like it was her fault either. Janelle said she never heard somebody give somebody once before she whoops whoops somebody ass and. I feel like I've seen somebody in Bank of Sub History give a lot of warnings and then just whoop some ass. Who the fuck did that? Give me a second so I can think. I feel like somebody was like, bitch, Camilla, I'm not the one. I'm not the fucking one. I'm not the fucking Mac, 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 Mac. Camilla said since she got there, bitch, I am not the one. 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 You always play with her. She showed you. Let's go, Camila. I, we want to see you on season two. No bad. Beat Natalie ass. I'm sorry. You ain't got to beat her ass. Just fight her. But you need to give us some go. Because that bitch Natalie, she thinks she destruct the con. Fucking Terminator 7, bitch. She feel like she is the biggest bitch in the cul-de-sac. And she is running this shit. She beat Christina ass and turned that bitch into a life coach. Then now Christina got all the way home. And now she talking shit again because she don't laugh. But after she beat her ass that first time, Christina ain't talking no more shit on Baddies ATL. But I guess they supposed to fight three again. We're going to see y'all. Y'all know I'm going to do a reunion review. Seven say, like, she now calling, um, you know, Janelle a friend. And it's like, you know, it take her a little time. And this kind of made me go back to a uh, motherfucking Johnson's Cabaret with fucking Yummy Ass and Miss Natch. After some time, now she like, okay, this my friend. We had episode, like, what, 10? Girl, like, they was friends episode 3, bitch. So, I see. It was, like, funny because, you know, that's what's going on. Sarah had seven um hair in her fucking hand, like, trying to rip that shit. And then she got it off. And she said, like, she'll always have any bitch back. That's one thing about Janelle. When she, when she was on her fucking show like didn't know bitch really had her back but like because she was like by herself type shit 
but she do seem like a loyal girl. Like she don't fit. She don't give me like snaky vibes. Even on um, like she punched Jasmine and ran, but she knew to run because she know bitch. They was gonna jump her ass, so she was stayed right there, bitch. It's gonna beat the fuck out of Chanel. But then Chanel like how Seven like walked off calm, cause like after she fall, you know she didn't see nothing. She was just like flipping her off and stuff. I wanna flip y'all off so bad, but y'all know my thing. Y'all know I can't do it for YouTube, but. <laughs> she just walked off real, real calm. And that's how you know, like, somebody crazy. Because, like, when I used to get in fights in school, I never was, like, screaming, like, da -da -da -da, bitch, I beat your ass. Like, bitch, I just walked right to the office, like, bitch, a so the motherfucking bitch, the route, bitch. You just walk right the fuck where you know to go, bitch. They finna sit me down in this chair, call my motherfucking mama, bitch. Just, it's just that. Like, it's giving very high school, no doubt. Seven say, um, she threw the phone so she can shut the fuck up and she that she don't fight white people because she feel like they all call the police. So then they talk about how Sarah came downstairs initially to the media with sneakers and a bun on when the whole time she like been serving looks and giving you like, you know, really classy looks and shit. And they said like she feel like she tried to pro provoke Seven on purpose in order to do something for the cameras. Hold on now because Miss Sarah is a girl. I don't feel like Sarah's dumb for real, for real. She might could be doing that just to like, you know, get the ratings up because she can act like the ditzy blonde girl. Like, have Natalie like persuaded her to go apologize after Seven ran up on her and tried to throw something in her fucking face. Bitch, you do something in my face, you think I'm finna apologize to you? Natalie could have convinced Sarah like, you know, dumb yourself down so you can play that role because we all need somebody to play a role. And Janelle said she happy it did escalate. I mean, it really wouldn't have went that much farther because, you know, Sarah just walking around not running up. So, um, Seven say Natalie texts her and said they're going to have fun today and she needed that because, like, you know, like, she has been so much negativity in the house. And then Seven said, like, you know, she never had to fight somebody and be around them just, like, walking around kicking it and be cool. Like, girl, I feel her on that because, bitch, I feel like I've been trying to run up on me too, bitch. If I beat your ass and I'm just coming around, like, like at a party or something, bitch, nah, bitch. I feel like you're trying to get your one up and hey. But then Janelle, like, bitch, she don't want that, that ass whooping two times, bitch. She got it one time. She don't want it again. I feel like the second time, but she tried to, like, run up on Seven, like, out of nowhere. Seven was going to dog her ass, like, dog, dog, dog her ass, like, take that bitch to the pound, dog walk her ass, like, I feel like Seven would've went nuts if a bitch just, like, run up on Seven, I don't know what bitch, she was gonna go crazy. Now we got the thing, Christina get her ass, her ass beat, <laughs> Christina get her face beat again about, um, Sydney makeup people, Glam Squad, you know, they do this little back and forth where they was laughing and shit with the makeup artists and saying, like, you know, what, what, um, why she let, um, her use her makeup artist without telling her all this other shit. Sydney, like, if she was Janelle, she would've got mad, and then she told me how she gonna box Judy now in order to get the room. Like, she not a fighter, but, bitch, she gonna do her shit. I just wanna know, do the Glam Squad live there? Because it's like, y'all don't have no rooms in this big-ass mansion. Like, is y'all, like, halfway running it? I don't, I'm not getting what's going on with the whole Judy don't have a room thing when y'all keep showing us fucking clips of, a fat ass house. Y'all house is bigger than the one at Johnson Cabaret and it's way more bitches. So I don't understand how y'all don't have no space. So somebody think I'm talking about that. Like I feel like after the show somebody gonna like bring that to the light, but that's kinda weird to me. So now we got Natalie um coming and talking to Tanisha. Tanisha said like she think this is the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and they got their fur coats on and shit. Tanisha girl, why the fuck are you always making a new appearance every time in the show? You the only bitch that come out the fucking van every day. She's talking about she left for meetings, you know, her meetings that she's keep doing, keep talking about. Natalie say that bitch is gonna fight it out or rat it out for the bull of the boxing match and they both like acting again with a laugh and shit and uh, uh, like they are not good actors. I'm sorry. Tanisha and Natalie, y'all acting days like hang it up. Tanisha got out of the girls even though they was all waiting inside the fucking living room. She's like, oh I'm gonna get everybody and everybody walk to the door. And then Natalie say that the house is competitive but fun so they wanna do something that's nice so then um Sarah come with this big ass fucking wig. Her wig look bigger than any other time in the show when they was standing in front of the bounce house because she was standing by everybody else and it was just like her wig was just like touching everybody <laughs> her wig was like touching everybody's shoulders and shit pretty person by herself and her wig just like getting all this motherfucking space girl your wig got fucking hang time like a motherfucker bitch now judy don't want to do it because you know judy's scary she judy gonna forever be scary i knew she wasn't gonna fight sydney yet because girl Judy wouldn't fight no regular girl. Why the fuck she thinks she's gonna fight a trans girl? So then that's when Judy say it's ridiculous for her to fight over a room because she is a star. I also feel like it is very ridiculous for Judy to fight over a room. That bitch is definitely an icon of beggar. So I was literally just watching season seven the other way, other day. And Judy is a icon. Like, why would she ever have to fight over a room over with Sydney Star who wasn't on the show? I feel like if anybody wanted to get a room, y'all could have had Nah, don't put Seven in no room nobody, girl. She, girl, she, girl, she will flip 
the fucking script bitch would start rocking in the corner and shit, girl. Mm -mm. Like y'all could have gave Christina a buddy buddy up room with Sydney or somebody else, not Janelle, because they would have gotten into it. But y'all could have put Janelle with somebody with seven or something. But y'all shouldn't have Judy in nowhere with no roommate. But you know, Natalie did that just to be messy so they could have that little sisterhood fight relationship when they live together. You know, it's always gonna be some drama because they in the same room. So then Judy say Janelle should fight Sydney because she's um called her um a trainee. And I don't remember her saying that, but she probably said it off camera. And then they like, you know, who she want her to fight? And she like, Seven. <laughs> I know Seven felt that because she's about bitch. If Seven if Sarah would have fought the one to fight last night, she would have said Seven. Y'all y'all was saying in the comments that y'all don't think, um, you know, Seven did enough for Sarah to fight her. But girl, if a bitch is in your face screaming and doing all of this and doing all of this and saying like, da da da, bitch, like you should get up at some point. Sarah's not stupid. It just gave that like. She didn't want it to be a fight fight like that, so she took her ill. I mean, I feel like she took her ill. She knew that Seven was going to run up on her. She didn't stand up before. Like, her instincts ain't kicked in, girl. And if you did your instincts ain't kicked in, and a bitch in your face talking about, you ain't never been in no fight like this, you ain't never been in no fight like this, and you don't stand up, you took her ill, goofy. What the fuck? That's dumb as hell. I'm not going to let no bitch scream and tell me you irritated, and I'm going to slap your ass and still be sitting down. Come on now. Come on now, Sarah. You done got jumped by 20 bitches. So now they do um, Natalie and Tanisha fight up in the thing. And Tanisha ended up fucking flipping all the way over and shit. And, but basically, Tanisha lost the fight. I did everybody fight. Natalie was going to win because, bitch, that bitch is just strong. But Tanisha just, like, kind of slipped and fell. She didn't, like, beat her ass. The cameraman fell, too, what made them all fall. It wasn't just Tanisha fall. And that's when Janelle and um Sydney fall fight for Judy Room. And Janelle beat Sydney. Like, you know, Sydney not too balance like i knew she was gonna fall because like she fall anyway so i was just waiting on her to fall so you know janelle could just win then you got christina versus seven and seven beat christina as quick as fuck well they didn't fight but they did the little little hands thing because i feel like if they would have gotten the gloves bitch it would have been a one bitch they both got temper problems bitch they would have it would have been entertaining about they should have gave them the gloves and gave Sydney and Janelle the little stick thing. Because I feel like Sydney would have did a little better because she got weight on her. So now they got the fucking um, mechanical bull. And they put Sarah up there with her motherfucking um, Bob the Builder tank hat on. She, you know, the fucking captain of the boat. So she got to ride the fucking bull. Sarah falls quickly. Um, and then Sydney go next. And then Sydney talking about how she ride, you know, ride the dick like a dick BMX. But then she fall off in two minutes. And Janelle, you know, said she knew how to rat dick. And she did a little better. Then Christina said she don't rat dick at all. And then she, you know, she fall. <laughs> then Natalie in the fucking crowd talking about spicy Christina. <laughs> um, Seven go next and she fall off because she said her um, sweatpants was slippery. And then Natalie go on. You know, she like motherfucking Hulk Hogan, WWE Smash. Judy don't want to go because y'all know Judy don't do shit. And then Tanisha go next. But Tanisha can't get on the fucking wall. So then Sarah trying to lift her like her motherfucking implants won't bust and run up her fucking back into her wig. And the um, cameraman help her, she try to like help her. She like, you got insurance, bitch. So one thing about Tanisha, she gon' she gonna eat with the fat jokes. This bitch fat jokes is funny, no doubt. She might know how to, not how to act, but that bitch, that bitch could crack some fat jokes. And sadly, and Tanisha talk about like sisterhood and they give a speech and a group hug, da 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 da. You know, before they finna go to bed and shit. And this is the first time we kind of seen them like you know after hours and shit. Like, I kind of like this scene a lot because like you know back or so they should show you like bitches getting ready for bed and shit. Sarah um come and talk to Seven with her hair up. That's all. I was like, ooh, bitch, they finna fight. Sarah start talking about all her injuries and how she got her ass beat. And then Seven say like she missing her baby and just Sarah caught her on her own day. I mean, I do feel like Sarah was definitely like poking Seven because if you see she already irritated and she a mama, she a new mama at that like she missed her baby. Okay, Sarah was looking mad as fuck while she was like selling her injuries. Like she was looking at her like my hair's put out and was, like she was okay mug and hard as fuck. I thought Sarah was gonna get mad, but you know her and Seven talked to the out. They hugged her and they talked about how Natalie manipulated them into thinking that they didn't like each other. I mean she was the EP of the show and Natalie's already messy as fuck. Like, I mean why would you already like not know that Natalie was lying if she come and tell you Seven don't like you and Seven just not a person to up and like nobody for no reason? Why would you believe her? So I just feel like that was kind of weird. That Sarah, I mean, even though she playing a dumb girl role with Seven don't look like the girl that'd be like, oh, I don't like her. And just be like, not like somebody for no reason. So I feel like she should have picked up on that. So now they're talking about um, how they shouldn't have got manipulated. And Sarah kind of low-key started talking shit about Natalie. And Sarah said she felt bad because, like, you know, you know what what they got into. So then Seven said she feel bad too. And then they apologize and kiss and make up. That's the motherfucking video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, y'all. I really fucked with this episode. I really feel like I, I did feel more energy and more... 
you know, it was just better moments, better better light. You know, I feel like more just the connection to this episode. It gave me more of what I wanted to see. More of like a, you know, real housewives. Like, y'all go out and do events. Y'all, you know, do book stuff. Like, just this would have been a better feel. Like, y'all could have had them, like, trying new shit and going, like, Fear Factor kind of. It could have been a really, like, better thing. Because, you know, it's already going to be motherfucking bitches mad about doing shit anyway. So, you could have just had them bitches go about their day-to-day, -day, literally. Justin Capri videos are coming next. I'm gonna record the bitches in the morning. I'm tired as fuck. I've been voguing all day because I'm about to fuck these ballroom girls up. Like, I'm sorry. I'm really good at voguing. I'm very nimble. I've been in the gym. My my ligaments, everything is coming together. My body, yada yada, is coming in. If you got me on Instagram, you see the progress, bitch. I'm a little swole hoe. I was a little skinny bitch for a little minute, but now I'm a swole hoe. So that mean, bitch, the mouth is gonna be a little slicker because I got a little bit more. Mm. Come on, kabam, okay? The bark gonna be a little bigger because the bite is coming two times harder. That's all I'm gonna say. Follow my social media, my Facebook, Instagram, my Snapchat if you want me just being myself. If y'all want more of my, you know, my real videos and stuff like that, I know y'all do. Make sure y'all go stomp on that like button because that's what we do. We stomp on shit on this channel. Make sure y'all stay stream my album. It's out now on all platforms. It didn't really, like, you know, y'all didn't really get into it on my channel because I know it's something new, something that y'all, you know, not used to. But it's definitely doing good on, like, you know, iTunes, Spotify. Like, it's definitely getting streams because, you know, I have platforms other, like, Facebook and Instagram. Like, I have, you know, other platforms than just YouTube. But, you know, YouTube. YouTubers, bitch. Insane gang, bitch. Go stream my fucking album. Come on now. Let's not play ho. Fuck's wrong, child. That's my fucking video. Insane gang, sis, we out. Ah.